The Miami Dolphins made quite a few moves this past offseason to address their 22nd ranked offense. More importantly, they made moves in support of their starting quarterback Tua Tagovailoa. One of their earliest moves was to sign wide receiver Cedric Wilson, a free agent from the Dallas Cowboys, to a three year $22 million contract at the onset of free agency. At the time, I was incredibly excited. And even right before the season got underway, I was incredibly bullish on Cedric Wilson in this offense. Historically, Tua has leaned on the slot receiver and underneath throws a lot and this was the role Cedric Wilson was brought in to fulfill. I was also excited because he was expected to be the exciting new offensive piece as the trade for Tyreek Hill was still nine days away. When the team added Tyreek Hill via trade, I became even more bullish on Wilson assuming teams would sell out to take away Waddle and Hill leaving Mike Gesicki and Cedric Wilson to open up the seam and in the slot. What I didn't take into account was Mike McDaniel changing up his approach to play calling from what many fans expected, run first, to target Hill and Waddle over the middle of the field in a pass-first offense, I also didn't anticipate Hill and Waddle garnering such a high percentage of targets. I mean, I knew they were stars and would get a ton of attention but I also expected defenses to do a better job of taking them out of the game plan, Wilson is owed a base salary of $7 million this season with a $1 million signing bonus. If Miami trades him before June 1, they'd see a cap savings of $6 million and a dead cap hit of just $2 million, the time is now to recoup some value for a talented, but ineffective in this offense, wide receiver in Cedric Wilson.